Hello everybody, you're welcome back again to Crypto Mall and I'm still my humble self, Isaac. Yeah, we're going to make this very quick. If this is your first time of seeing a video from Crypto Mall, please do well to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can get informed whenever we drop any update, please. I would like to mention and um, reiterate the bell notification. Please do well to click there's a bell beside the subscribe button so that you can get informed whenever we have any update because sometimes I'll just be on my own on WhatsApp and somebody will just come to my DM and say, boss, any updates, this, any updates. And I consistently drop at intervals updates on this platform. So please do well so that to avoid repetition and all those stuff, please do well to click the subscribe button and also the bell beside it. And also please go to the like button hit the like button go to the comment section make sure crypto related words so that we can reach out to as many as possible uh, as we move on so if you have been with us ever since you will know that this page we have preached more of p2p we have preached more of p2p i i can say say 70, 70 to 75% of the content on this page is based on P2P. And this is because of the truth I found out about it and how it's, uh, it can give you financial liberation. And so, um, but at the moment, I'm trying to diversify and go into the crypto space proper. And I dropped one of the first episodes, uh, I think a week ago, on uh, on um, cryptocurrency from the genesis do you understand i dropped an episode so do well to check it out and we'll move from there i've always been scared on how people will be able to comprehend how cryptocurrency works so that's one of my limitations that has been hindering me from putting out content basically on cryptocurrency but at this point in time i think we need to start from somewhere and i posted a video about it which i will make in series i'll post another one to complement that and we'll grow from there to become experts in cryptocurrency absolutely for free on youtube except otherwise okay so today i want to uh, teach us the some of the tips you can use to become a verified merchant and also people who are asking me how do you become a merchant how do you become a merchant i want to clarify the i want to clear the air on becoming a merchant how many kinds of merchants do we have and uh, what does it take to become a merchant so let's go from there we have two different types of merchant and if you've been with us on this page you'll know that um uh, I mentioned this specifically that these are not the original names. It's because I I find it uh, humbling to be the only person, kind of, as at the point where I started, I was the only person that was putting out the kind of content I was searching on YouTube. So I had to give some of these things their own name. Do you understand? I had to name them by myself. And this name, so if you hear another name, maybe the professional name itself from another person, please don't argue with them or don't say, no, this is the name Crypto More told us. You know, I had nobody to, like, I don't know how to put this, but some of these things, I just had to classify them by myself because I didn't really learn it from anybody. Do you understand? I don't really learn it from it. So I had to classify them by myself, give them their own names. Even people that bought my full course, they can testify to the fact that I named everything as I thought it should be. So um, there are two types of merchants. We have ordinary merchants and we have verified merchants. Ordinary merchants, anybody as a matter of fact, you can become an ordinary merchant. Anybody can become an ordinary merchant. Just anybody on Binance. Anybody on Binance. As long as you meet the criteria. And the criteria is very easy. 
you listening to my to this now you probably are an ordinary merchant and you don't know do you understand we have ordinary merchant and we have verified merchant now verified merchants are the merchants that binance recognize they know oh this is a trusted guy on binance and so i want to show you the difference between ordinary merchant and the verified merchant though some people used to say there's no much difference <laughs> but i can tell you the tiny and the little difference between them is a lot there is only small or negligible difference but i can tell you that small difference means a lot and so we have less competition i'll show you practically what i mean by this because i'll go to the binance app from here number of orders that can be fulfilled at time the number of orders i don't know if it has changed now because one of my students told me he had she had uh, 10 trades per time which was practically not possible before but i don't know if it has changed now but before the maximum you can have is four trades per time as an ordinary merchant but as a verified merchant you can have as many as possible do you understand and then verified merchant has more traffic and also verified merchant has quicker access to the binance p2p uh, help center they attend to you as swift as possible rather than the ordinary merchant and also they trust you and some things the ordinary merchant go through you may not have to go through it i know a number of times where uh, where i have an appeal pending and the person is not releasing and i go to the p2p center help center and they don't even require me to send them a video of my um, transaction they believe me already because i have a credible record with them do you understand so so they give you access and all then the fees at the moment binance charges um verified merchants 0.08 percent why for unverified merchant they charge them 0.1 percent so th that's the difference now let me take you practically to the difference yeah practically i want to show us the difference between verified merchant and ordinary merchant so that you can know the difference and nobody to just come and say i want to become a merchant i want everybody just calling merchant merchant not knowing that you are already a merchant but maybe you want to become verified so now there's something called express you see in this express everybody if you don't want to be duped on binance p2p is a risk free zone for every financial is a risk free zone if you come to express you can be rest assured that you will not be duped because they are scammers on p2p but if you come to express you can be rest assured that you are not going to be duped and guess who binance refer on this express the merchants once anybody comes to express and click Binance will automatically match the person with a qualified verified merchant. Do you understand? Why the ordinary somebody have to click on your ad by yourself, by themselves? Do you understand? Now let me just give you a very practical example. This is eight minutes already. Time flies whenever I come on this. Okay, let's say let's say fifty thousand. Let's say fifty thousand naira. Now, now let me show you an example. Now, if you, if somebody comes and say, "I want to buy fifty thousand naira worth of USDT now," and they come to this P two P, they click this P two P, they come to Express. Like I told you, is risk free zone. They click fifty thousand. Look at what Binance we do. Look at what Binance we do. Binance will, okay. You see, we uh, like, just like we have filtered fifty thousand, fifty thousand naira. Look at what Binance will do. Binance will drop this guy, King Sony Express. He will jump in because he's not verified. Binance will jump 
uh, Emeline Liana because it's not verified. Binance will jump Express Pay because it's not verified. Even though they have high volume, Binance will jump Dodena. Binance will jump 430 Box. Binance will jump Alana Trade. Binance will give the 50,000 uh, trade to KC Tronics. Hmm. Now, ordinarily, minus this 92.07 minus the highest bid. Though the difference is not too much. 92.07 minus 91.96. Though the difference is not too much, but automatically, without doing anything, without trading, this person already has a margin profit of 0 0.11. Do you get the concept now? Do you get the concept? So that's the difference between, that's one of the biggest difference between, and it happens across border for 100,000 or for um, 500 or any amount. That's how it works. And as long as the person comes to express, Binance will share them with a verified merchant. You see how important you need to be a verified merchant. So let's move on. Since we have... Um, mentioned all of this now requirements for to become a merchant we have requirement to become an ordinary merchant which is you must have at least 80 percent rating you must have 20 trades in 30 days you must ha have traded at least once in the past 30 days this means if you open a binance account today and you trade for the first time today you can't become an ordinary merchant in, until after 30 days you can't post any ads until after 30 days, even if you have the 20 trades and the 80% rating now. Do you understand? That's it. But um, if you have been trading P2P and you don't have up to 20 trades and your rating is not up to 80, you can make up 20 trades now, now and make up 80% rating and then you start trading as an ordinary merchant. So, requirement to become a verified merchant number one, you must have traded well as an ordinary merchant this is where some people get it wrong you can't just come to binance and say you want them to verify you how you have no track record with them they don't know you to have traded well they don't know you from anywhere they just, you just want them to give you a verified badge it's just like instagram you don't have followers you have not traded you have not done it and you want them to just hand over the badge to you it's not it doesn't work that way do you understand? So, you must have traded well. I advise people at least have 500 trades in 30 days. In, yes, in 30 days, worth of $5,000. Uh, this is what I mean. Let's go back to this place again. Look at this. Um, see my trades. Okay, now look at this. At the top left corner, you see 745 trades. In 30 days meanwhile my total see this feedback here no sorry no feedback um, more more now look at my total trade all trade is 12,298 some people that's what they look at so once you see 500 they think they are on it no it must be in the last 30 days do you understand and you must have traded worth of 5k 5k do dollars just so so you just have to take note about that and so uh we move to the next one requirement two okay to become a verified merchant to be uh, the requirement two to become a verified merchant you must have 1000 usd busd 1000 worth of busd as collateral pending the time you'll be verified some people ask me, will I get access to this fund? Yes, you will get access to this fund. You are not dashing Binance. It's still your money. As long as you don't engage in any fraudulent anything, you still have your money. Do you understand? So it's there. So, and you must have good reviews and rating. It's not compulsory though, but it's, it's, it's necessary. Uh, tips to getting quick verification. Now, you must note that you might have all of this and you still get rejected. Guys, I have all these things I mentioned. Okay, before I got verified, me, I didn't use 1000 USD because 
be USD, because by that time, there was no nothing like that. It was later on that Binance now introduced that. So I didn't use that. So, But now, it's a requirement. So there are some tips you need to note when you want to apply to become a verified merchant. This 15 minutes already. Okay. Number one is upgrade your KYC to at least advanced verification. Now, I must mention to you, just like I said, some people have... Okay, okay, let's go back to the... I think we just... We have we have practical examples now. We have practical examples that we can use. 50K. 50K. Look at this guy now. Okay, okay. Look at this 430 box. He has 1,320 trades in 30 days. 1,320 trades in 30 days. Are you telling me that he doesn't want to become a verified merchant? And look at his rating. His rating is 98%. Are you trying to tell me he doesn't want to become a merchant? Or maybe his uh, application was not approved because there are some tips, some little tips, I think, because I've been in that shoe before where I applied to become a verified merchant for almost five months and I was denied until I did some little, little things. And I think that was what gave me an edge to becoming a verified merchant. So uh, I will, I I'll put you through those things very quickly. Um, so so what, what are those things? Number one, upgrade your KYC to at least advance verification. Many of us think we have verified our Binance to the fullest and we have not. Let me show you something, go back. Come to this top left corner, the person you are seeing at the top left corner, then click the verified badge. I want to show you something. Some people think they are verified, not knowing that they are only verified as an intermediate. You see, some people are on this verified plot, verified. They don't have this verified plus. Do you understand? So I advise that you verify, you make sure you, even after this verified plus, there's still another advanced verification, there's still another verification, which I have not done yet. And if I want to do it, I will just click it, see, increase limits here, which I will just do, but I'm not ready for it now. Do you understand? So I will advise, one of the things I did differently before, I became a very, before they accepted my application to become a verified merchant. I I, I upgraded myself to an intermediate. I think Binance updated their app, so they is not is not um, is not explained like it used to be. So now it's verified plus. I think verified VVIP is what to come after this because there is something after this. You understand? So try and move from being verified to verified plus and do that please with your laptop make sure you do that with your laptop if you are doing that with your laptop once you click to become to to put in your location it will ask you to put in um your what's it called a proof of residence so you offload maybe a NEPA bill or anything that you can offload. But advisedly, what I did, I uploaded NEPA bill, but I, it was rejected. I did this thing up to like five times. This particular address verification, I did it up to like five times and it was rejected. What I would advise you to do is collect your bank statement. Collect your bank statement. It will be in PDF and you can't upload PDF on mobile using the app so i would advise you use your laptop and you go to the advanced verification verified advanced and upload your statement of account your statement of account has proof of residence so you upload it and then you move from there and so we move to the next tips of getting uh, your quick verification who is upgrade your KYC, okay, I think we've gone through that. If you upgrade your KYC, uh, preferably use your laptop, then uh, have $1,000 worth of VUSD in your spot wallet as collateral. I think I mentioned that already. So have that in your uh, spot wallet pending the time you'll be verified. Then the other tips is Google search the 
Binance P2P merchant form and fill appropriately. This used to be on the profits side. It used to be here before. It used to be on. It used to be here before, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. It used to be on this page before. Maybe because I'm verified, but I'm not sure. I doubt if that is what it is. It used to be on this menu before, but it's no longer there. So what our advice should do is Google search. Just Google search. Um, Google search Binance um, Merchant Form. Okay, just like I said, you Google search it, but um, I tried Google searching it just now. And um, you, can, you can't assess the form. Because I wanted to show you some things on the form, but you can't access the form except you log in, which I'm not ready to do. So we'll move on. I'll just mention those things to you. Okay, Google start the form and fill appropriately. Now, tips in getting quick verification. Note this on the form. On your contact, you will be requested to put in your contact. Make sure you put the plus 234 or your country code before your contact. You understand? Put that right. Then the right telegram name, put the right telegram name. Uh, then also another tip to note is upload the right screenshot. I advisedly put your ID on it. Okay, now upload the right screenshot. This is the screenshot you have to upload. You see some, uh, you'll be requested to upload a screenshot of your trade, of your trade history with Binance, just like I said. You can become verified merchant if you have not traded as an ordinary merchant yet. So you need to screenshot your record of being a verified uh, an ordinary merchant first before so that you upload it. So you have to show them a proof that you have been trading as an ordinary merchant. So what do you do? You come to your profile, bottom right, then you screenshot this you screenshot this then you click more you see this more you click it then you screenshot it too and then that is what you upload there's a space where you upload it there make sure you upload it and also you'll be required to upload your id card i advise people to put their id card in their palm and snap so that they will know it's real and legit snap where snap it and make it very clear so the other tips okay yeah now after you have done this and you have submitted the form make sure you send a mail send a mail to them with the screenshot of the profile that i just showed you now do you understand send the mail to them yes i i i, I put the mail that i sent here my name is with binance id this is i am from nigeria I have been applying to become a verified merchant for over four months now, but all to no avail. I just submitted another application now. Please help verify me. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Looking forward to hearing from you. Attaches my P2P profile and the transaction history. I put this here because many of us would like to copy. So you can copy and paste this. That's why I, I, I said my name so that you know... <laughs> You will not dub my name along with it. So you can copy and paste this and send this to them too. And uh, I think it will really help. I think it will really, it will really, 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 because it really, really helped me. I sent this out of frustration. I have been doing this over and over again. I was tired. So guys, don't give up yet. Don't be tired. So that is it. Um, and then see the mail I got. See the mail I got. It says, Hey, we just reviewed your application. We considered you uh, as a, qu a qualified merchant. We will set up the account. Your, we will set up a merchant account for you, but cannot find you through the Telegram username you left. That's why I said put a valid Telegram name. Please add so so so, so as Telegram contact and send your Binance ID to him. Best regard, Binance team. That was the mail they received. Or more, the day I received this mail, 
high. Come and see the excitement. I share testimony in church. <laughs> I'm serious. I share this because it means a lot to me. You don't know how much it will mean to you until you become it. So that is it. And now, for people who are looking to become an ordinary merchant, some people want to post ad and they will now come back to tell me that they are seeing this on their profile. What it means that you have not met the criteria of becoming an ordinary merchant. That's just what it means. So what do you do? Click learn more to see the criteria. And I mentioned this criteria earlier. Number one is registration time in 30 days. You must have traded at least once in 30 days. If you register today, you can't start trading as a merchant today. You have to wait for 30 days. That's if you register today. But if you have registered last year and you have traded at least once since that last year to this time, why not? You can just make up the others and start trading. Complete identification, verification, and SMS authentication. I think this one was not there before, but it's a normal thing you should do now. So, number of completed trades, 20 trades in 30 days. That's part of it. 30 days to 80% review. So, basically all I mentioned, number, number of unique trading counterparties. That's 10, 10 counterparties. Meaning that those people, these 20 people, you must trade with these 20, you must trade with more than 11 different people, more than 10 different people. Not that you have your friend, you now open ad for him. You say, oh yeah, let me click my ad now. Let me click my ad now. You now be transparent to yourself. You now have these 20 trades with a single person or two people or five people. It must be at least with 10 people. Do you understand? So, that's just the criteria you need to meet. And once you meet it, you can post ad immediately. Please note that whether you are verified or unverified, you will still make your money as long as you know what you are doing. Go back to check our previous video on how to make money using Binance PPP. And I hope it will bless you and change your life. Uh, I wish you good luck. Ah, oh my, I hope much respect. Good luck. <laughs> I wish you good luck. Ah, can I edit this? Please, so okay, this like let me let me go because before they say, <laughs> I wish you, I wish you good luck. Mm -hmm. I wish you good luck. I hope my luck is correct. It should be correct too. For sponsorship and training, counseling inquiries, please call or message. Plus two three four eight zero seven one nine one nine two one four. That's my number. You can preferably on WhatsApp, please, because me too. I'm working and I use the internet. So when you call me, you are probably obstructing my um, whatever. Do you understand? So please reach out to me preferably on 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 on, um, on WhatsApp. So. Uh, till I come your way again, please. If you are reaching out to me, please note that they are paid services. All these services are paid services. My free services end on YouTube. It doesn't extend to my WhatsApp. Okay, it ends on YouTube. So thank you very, very much for your time. Please make do with everything you hear. Don't just hear them and sleep on them. Till I come your way again, I still remain Isaac of Crypto More. Have a blessed day. Make sure you like this video and comment below. Thank you so much. And I say bye-bye.